Hey everyone, it's been a little while since I've made a video like this and I took a bit of a little break. Um, I needed to take some time off so I really hadn't been doing that much with my channel. I lost somebody recently that I've known basically all of my life and I left this realm. Did have a chance before they were gone. Let them know about the reincarnation soul trap and the light and certain things like that. And I basically tried to explain it last year. End of last year. In some of my artwork to explain it not just to explain it but as a means to open up the topic and you know get your foot in the door in a sense like it's not the easiest thing in the world to start talking about with someone someone that you've stayed in touch with let's say for years and you know that they're ill or they have health issues and you can sort of tell that they don't, might not have too many months or too many years left and it's difficult it's not easy to talk about stuff like that especially if you know the person is religious or christian or catholic or whatever the case may be something like that and you want to warn them you want to help them so you risk talking about something like that so you know what i see what a lot of us in this quote community see whatever you want to call it, with the reincarnation soul trap, the recycling trick, you know, getting tricked by the light, the entities, the fake loved ones that show up, the deceptions, the lies, all that stuff. It's not that easy to bring up to someone, okay? But I did that. I took the risk, and I hope that the person that I knew, I hope they remember and they're out of this place. And it's like mixed feelings now when someone passes away because it's like, you know this is, I know this is hell realm. I know this is hell realm. So do others here on my channel. I know this is a hell realm. We're, this is not a good place that we're in right now. All right? So it's like having that awareness and... I don't want to be here myself, if you see what I'm saying. So I have mixed feelings. It's like someone you care about is gone out of here, out of this body, out of this hell realm, but then you know there's that chance of reincarnation. Okay, so it's like mixed feelings. It's like you're glad they, they're out of this hell realm, but you also don't want them to get tricked, and you're also sad for missing them and stuff like that. It's like... It's such a mixture. It's such a, it's such a, it's such a mind fuck. It's just a, it's a traumatic thing. And I know that people on my channel have dealt with this too. Okay. I realize that you've gone through this with your loved ones, whether it's a wife or a husband, or some of you might have even lost, I think some that are still here have lost children and it's difficult. I've never lost a child. I don't have any children. I didn't bring any children into this realm, but this was a friend of the family that have, you know, has known my family since before I was born. So that's all I could do was try to warn them about the tricks and what this place is and reincarnation and uh, help them. That's all I could do. So anyway, that's why I needed to take some time and uh, I'm back to making some videos. I did upload some videos that I had recorded weeks or months ago that I had not uploaded. And some, I, I didn't quite forget about them. I have a list of some videos, but um, yeah, somewhere from like January or February or something like that, or, you know, somewhere from like, it, one was I think from April 1st and just recorded videos that 
I had done a while ago, so I had those in the Sanity Machine Vault. So what else did I want to discuss here? The piece that I have as a thumbnail for this video that you're seeing is a piece of art by me. It began as a pen and ink drawing. It's a windmill with stormy skies. It seems fitting because it's been a stormy couple of weeks for me personally. There's been things going on and uh, my personal life, stuff like that. Dealing with stuff like, it's just, it's, uh, it's difficult because it, as I said, it's like grief hits you again where it, now I'm thinking about loved ones that I lost years ago that I don't know if they got out of here. Chances are they were probably recycled, reborn born again, back here again. So they're here in this hell realm again, as far as I know. And it's just hard, it's hard to deal with that. But anyway, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, did take a bit of a break. Certain people on my channel, a lot of people on my channel have been wonderful, said that I was missed, stuff like that. Um, glad to have me back. This place is fucking difficult, man. It's, uh, this is not an easy realm. There's a lot that goes on here. There's a lot that we have to deal with. You might have health issues, um, physical issues, and then losing someone and, you know, getting that call from someone and, you know, told about what's going on and stuff like that. And, uh, it's all, it's all difficult. We're in a fucked up place. And some other drama going on with, on YouTube with haters, demons, liars, false accusers, narcissists, straight up demons, um, backing, starting smear campaigns, you name it. You have to ask yourself, why would they do that? Why would they, why would they be doing this? Why would they keep this shit going? You know, why are they all together? Why are they all on the same page? Why do they all know each other behind the scenes? Why are, why are they all friends, basically, if you can call it friends? Um, you have to wonder these things. So that's what's going on. I will stand against every fucking demon in this realm and beyond this realm. They don't scare me. Their threats don't scare me. They're not going to silence me. No fucking demons here are going to silence me. They can get the fuck out of here. None of them are going to silence me. When it comes to YouTube, when it comes to outside of YouTube, when it comes to the realms beyond this earth realm, this, this cesspool, physical matrix, you know, the whole Chiron, the lost thing with his walk is ridiculous. There's cult leaders on YouTube straight up cult leaders trying to get people to be, become homeless, to follow them on a walk, to leave their homes, become homeless, to give up everything. I mean, it's just incredible what's going on here, but it's, it's happening, okay? What, there are people following this shit and they're cults of no personality. They are dangerous. Make no mistake, these cults of no personality are dangerous and... Uh, there's a lot of shit going on here, man, and it's pretty fucked up. It's pretty sad that people are following this shit, and uh, I don't know what to say anymore. I mean, I'm not laughing happily. It's just like out of just uh, not really out of frustration, just out of it's so fucking absurd. It's so ridiculous. It's it's just. Uh, it's unbelievable in a way, but it's happening. So are they agents? Are they more than just psych psychotic? Are they psychos? Are they the anger and the violence they have? Some of them, um, you can see the anger in them. They have no sense of humor. They have no real laughter, no authentic laughter. There's a lot of signs that they're psychotic narcs, okay? They're narcissists and they're cult leaders and they have a cult following, and their channels are dying, 
and my channel is growing and that's eating at them because I keep getting more subscribers, more people are watching my videos, more people like and comment on my, on my videos and share them and they can't handle it. They just, their jealousy and envy uh, eats at them for one thing. That's part of it, I think. But I think it's more than that. They're just full of rage, anger, hate, and violence. And it comes across in their videos. They have no sense of humor. I mean, I'm not a barrel of laughs tonight because I've had stuff on my mind this week and last week. And uh, just the sad news that I got and stuff like that. And it's been hard, you know. It's been hard. And uh, it's the way this place is. It can really throw shit at you. And uh, sorry, I keep saying and uh, probably not the most eloquent, articulate speaker tonight. But I'm doing my best. I wanted to give you an update. I am still around. Uh, I don't know when I'll get back to making as much content as what I had been doing for months. I was pouring it on because I don't know how long YouTube is going to just allow my channel to be around. I really should set up a backup channel on YouTube. I know I've mentioned this before. I procrastinate. I should set up a Odyssey or something. Or uh, I've heard you know bad things about Odyssey, bad things about BitChute, <clears throat> but. Um, I really don't enjoy setting that stuff up to begin with, to be honest. And it's a lot of work and a lot of time to do. Pardon me, had to get a drink. Um, it's not something that I enjoy doing and I've been dealing with other stuff going on in life. And it's been, it's been depressing. All right. It's, uh, it's hard to deal with this shit, especially knowing what I know, just like people on my channel know what I'm talking about. They know. And just a mixture of thoughts, emotions, wanting to help. And that's the only thing I could think of to help. And I'm not going to say who the person was, just a close family friend is it will be used against me as everything else that I've divulged here has been. And some people would say that's the nature of YouTube. Listen, man, there's people that have had YouTube channels for five, 10 years. They haven't dealt with a lot of this shit, you know? So maybe I should have been set more wary when I set up my channel. Uh, I do try to be open and connect with people and, uh, People have spoken about my mother and, and just all kinds of stuff. Just, just sick demons, just sick demonic shit, threats made, all kinds of stuff, slander, false accusations, lies, uh, all kinds of stuff. So if they think I'm going to forget when I leave this realm, they have another thing coming. I'll never forget what they've done. And it's not just, oh, you're bitter or you're hanging on or... You know, the best revenge is living. Like, at a certain point, you have to stand up to these demons. Someone has to. And they've been running wild on YouTube for years. And uh, some of them I only came across last year, 2022. Within the last year or less. So it's been not even a year with some of them. So I have not known them. They'll lie and tell you that I've known them for years. No, I haven't. Found their channels last year. Quite a few of them. Other ones like Movies Matt, yeah, I knew his channel for years. But, uh, and Chiron, I knew his channel years ago and forgot about it because he just disappeared years ago. He was gone, I think, for years. Forgot about his channel, so. But anyway, they're not coming after me. It's others that are doing that, and you know the list. And uh, they're straight-up demons. That's what they are. And... They can't take it. They can't take it that the sanity machine is growing and their channels are dying. And there's a lot less interest. And the only people that watch their channels basically are people that are banned on my channel. 
that have attacked me and have the same mindset they do, the same demonic mindset, the same narcissistic, warped mindset that they have. And they are evil. They're on team evil. And uh, it's not going to be forgotten what they've done here. It won't end in this realm. So, yeah, I'm not laughing in this video. I'm not cracking jokes. It's more of a somber video because that's the state of mind I'm in. That's the mood I'm in. And you do need laughter too. But now it just doesn't feel, doesn't feel right. I just, I'm not feeling it. So I'm just going to make the video that I have to make and... I also wanted to put the message out there to people that are struggling. Subscribers on my channel, viewers, people that comment. I know this place is fucking difficult, man. Or woman. I know it is. I know there's people that are depressed. Somebody recently I'm not going to mention. told me about having certain thoughts, struggling, doesn't want to be here. Let's put it that way. And uh, that hits me hard. That's a f someone that's been a friend of mine before I had this YouTube channel. So that's been within the last week. So there's a lot hitting me all at one time. People attacking me, loss of someone, and then someone else that opened up that does not want to be here and wonders what happens if you, you know, take yourself out, basically. So, it's been a lot of my mind in the last week or two. A lot going on. A lot that I've been thinking about, struggling with, trying to deal with. I am a strong person. I am a strong being. I'm strong-minded. I have a strong spirit. I have a strong heart. I do have empathy. But even I can get worn down by certain things when it's a lot all at once. And it can be a lot in this place. And then sometimes I read comments on YouTube, whether it's on my channel or once in a while. So I'll just, you know, I'm not on as often as I was, but I'll see something. I'll come across something, somebody talking about, you know, just not wanting to be here not wanting to be in this realm, this hell realm anymore. It's hard, man. I mean, it's, I want to give you hope. And I do believe with my heart and not in a Chiron way of just seeing with my heart. I do use my mind, my intuition, my spirit. I do think there are better realms than this one beyond this. I think this place is set up this way. So, I understand the struggle and the pain here that you're going through. I know it's very difficult in this fucking place. I understand that. But please don't despair. It's not hopeless. We do have reason to hope. We might have more reason to hope than people for centuries. If you really think about it, we might be closer to solving this whole puzzle than the majority in this realm for centuries here, okay? So it's not all hope is lost. Please don't give in to, to despair. Realize that realize that this place isn't everything. This fucking place. This place is fucked up. It's sick. It's toxic. It's evil. It's full of suffering. It's slavery by design in different ways, not just economic slavery, not just wage slaves or tax slaves. It's beyond that, okay? But that doesn't mean that it's forever. There is more beyond this. So we do have reason to hope. It doesn't end here. It doesn't end when the physical body perishes, let's call it that okay when the physical body ends that isn't it
Don't worry. And I have a headache tonight, trying to push through it. And, uh, I just wanted to put a video out, out there for everyone. This place is difficult. It's a rigged system. It's unfair. It's a place of slavery, physical, mental, financial, spiritual slavery. It's a place of disease. It's a place of suffering. The friend that I lost suffered before leaving this realm, I was told. Okay? So that's difficult. Difficult to deal with. And it's difficult to know that there are so many in this realm, there's, there will be hundreds, if not over a thousand, that hear my voice, and most hearing me have suffered, or are suffering right now, in various different ways, okay? And then there's countless others suffering in this realm, every fucking day, every fucking day here. And in some ways, that is more difficult for me to deal with than any of my own little suffering that I might have. And I'm not going to say what I have. I have mentioned before that I had a rough year health-wise last year, was in the ER three times, and at one point thought by ambulance I might have an NDE, which I did not end up having. Okay? Okay. There's others that have, you know, NDEs and they manifest things in the matrix. They, you know, they use their power of intention here in the matrix, basically grants them this life. They live in a bubble. They don't see the suffering of others here. Okay. They don't see what this realm is because that's one of the keys to seeing it is really, really deeply, not just saying, yeah, I realize others suffer. Not, not a surface view, but a real deep view and understanding. And uh, there's, been, there's been a guy on my channel, I had to ban him. He just keeps saying, oh, Stephen, why don't you leave Canada or United States? Come to this country. You can get girls. You can have a good life. It's just, you're just, quote, miserable because of where you live. No, I, I know what this whole place is, what this whole realm is. doesn't matter where I move. doesn't fucking matter. It wouldn't matter how much money I had. Okay doesn't matter doesn't matter I could be in a tropical paradise with no worries about money or rent or bills or this or that and uh, great food and a beach and ocean and I love the ocean and all that stuff I would still be thinking to myself this is a fucking realm of suffering and it's full of people suffering here I can't just shut that off I can't do it Okay? My mind doesn't work that way. I can't just forget everyone, just like I'm not going to forget when I leave this place. If I left this place, I'm not planning on it, but if I died in my sleep tonight, I wouldn't just forget what's going on here. This place should not exist. It's beyond just a bad place beyond just a fucked up place of torture. It should not exist. It should never have existed. It's not just terrible. It's not just evil. It's beyond that. It really is. And it all just kind of comes back when you lose someone that you cared about. Uh, it's a hideous place. It's a really fucking hideous place. It should not exist. And it's more than just, oh, we, we have to get out, or thinking, I have to get out of here, I have to get, that's selfish, I have to do more than that. I have to do more than just get myself out of here. I have to help others get out, and I also have to end this fucking place. If it's the last thing I do, I have to end this place. No matter what. 
Then there's people in this so-called quote community, the soul trap community, or the quote truther community, that are still talking about good, loving, beneficent, uh, benevolent creators, caring creators, or gods. Some call it a creator, or our creators, or a god. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? And these are usually the cult leaders to convince, try to convince people, like Chiron is, Lion Sword, and others. They're not the only ones. Just like they try to convince you that this all has to do with consent and consenting. Bullshit. Bullshit. And no loving God would do this, would put people in this fucking place and would do nothing and allow evil to rule and no, no intervention from good. No intervention from good and evil is allowed to rule here and this place is just full of evil and disease and suffering on every level on every fucking goddamn level in this place. All right? And Chiron Lost, just like I said last year, talks about creators, our true creators. Bullshit. They're just waiting for you out there. I mean, it makes no sense. It makes no goddamn sense. I am eternal. Something evil might have created this physical realm, whether it's physical just a matrix, matrix, a simulation, holographic uh, realm, whatever, whatever. I didn't create this place, though. But they didn't create me. You got that? They didn't create me. I'm an eternal being, and I didn't create this fucked up realm. I know that. I know I would never do this. I would never create a realm like this. I don't like suffering. I don't want to see others suffer like unfairness okay and this place is rigged as fuck it's more rigged than any casino or more rigged than any slot machine that you can play 10 million times and it punishes those who try to do good it attacks those who try to do good and it rewards evil that do wrong that do violence that commit fraud that lie that slander that gossip, that spread rumors, all that shit. It, reward, it rewards them in many, in many ways. It rewards the evil psychopaths and demons of this realm with money, with status, with power, all that shit that they're fixated on. They love that. They're, they're narcissistic. They care about looks and their money and their investments and their cryptocurrency and all this shit. That's what they care about. That's what they focus on all this materialistic, superficial, narcissistic shit. That's what they're fixated on in this realm. So anyway, I would not create a fucking place like this. I don't believe that I'm a, quote, fragment of God. I don't believe in their God. It's a monster. Or it's many monsters. Could be many, multiple. I don't know how many, okay? I don't have the answer for that. But I don't call it a God, a, quote, God call it a monster. I call it evil. Call it what it is based on its behavior. That's what I go by. And how this realm is designed, it's designed to be evil. It's designed to create maximum suffering and confusion and mind control. All right? Very complex system. But it is built on suffering as a foundation. Suffering, disease, evil, lies, illusions, confusion. That's how this fucking place is set up. And only something sick, evil, sadistic, and psychotic would create a realm like this. I had no part in this. So the collective, collective creators saying we collectively create this, I don't buy that. And I don't, I don't buy that I'm a quote fragment of God that we're all pieces, that I'm connected to everyone else, oneness, I don't, I don't buy any of that. I don't believe any of that, any of it. I am my own being. I am me. I'm an individual. I'm a sovereign, divine being. I'm an eternal being. By divine, it doesn't mean that I'm perfect in this realm. It doesn't mean that I don't make mistakes. It doesn't mean any of that. 
right? So anyway, I had to get some of that off my chest. Um, doing my best. I am doing my best trying to help others while I'm still here in this realm. And I will try my fucking heart out once I'm out of this realm as well. I won't just stop. I will be relentless, and that's what I'm going to do. I won't forget. I won't forget what the demons have done here, who they have harmed, and what they have done. I won't forget their lies, their slander, their false accusations, their evil, their crimes. demonic felons, I'm not going to forget what they've done. Their crimes of narcissism, how they've gaslit people, how they've done all sorts of shit. Slandered, gaslit, you name it. They've done all kinds of shit, all kinds of shit. I've heard a lot about a lot of them through emails from people. The ones that are attacking me have attacked many others. They've done this before. They deserve to be called out and exposed. And I am, I am exposing evil here. And I'm going to keep on doing it. Not just evil on YouTube, but I'm going to keep on doing it. And uh, even death itself won't stop me. I'm going to keep going. That's what I'm going to do. Because it's important. That's what I see as important. I have principles. I have my own principles, morals, and values. Nothing here can change that or destroy those or change me. Nothing. So I'm going to keep on going. I do have love for the good spirits here. Some of you have been just amazing and wonderful, supportive, compassionate friends. And I do truly care about you. And I do thank you for being so supportive through everything that's been going on. And uh, it means a lot to me. I appreciate you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Thanks to everyone that has been helpful, that has been sharing my message or sharing my videos, sharing with others, helping others break free from these cults of brainwashing, helping them to see what this realm is and to see what's actually going on here. You might be helping people get out of this fucking place, which is the best thing that you can do. It's a huge impact, and I'm grateful for that. So thanks for helping. Thanks, everyone. And I'm going to leave on a special number, powerful number. Thanks for everything, everyone. Take care. Have a good night. And I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye, everyone.